We all want to have a better life, and if you're lucky enough to be in a place where things are fair, you might stand a chance at achieving that. However, for those who are caught on the other side of the divide, searching for greener pastures is essential. So this has led to the growth of the smuggling industry as we see illegal immigrants taking risks to enter other countries. For those who hitched a ride inside of airplanes wheels to those hidden inside glove compartments, here are 20 crazy ways immigrants tried to sneak into a country. Hidden inside the mattresses Many immigrants trying to enter Europe illegally have taken to passing the Spanish border. With lots of risks attached to this trip, especially when crossing the Mediterranean Sea, people overlook the risk and focus on the winds. While some die, some have been able to reach successfully. Hence the increased attempt at this ludicrous act. So, when two Africans decided to take a similar trip, but in a different fashion, they half expected to be caught. They had paid smugglers 4,500 euros to help them get to Spain, but this time they were going to hide inside a pair of mattresses. The plan had moved nicely up until they met control and the funniest thing happened. The van driver, who was definitely in on the plan, if he wasn't the human trafficker, fled on foot upon inspection of mattresses. He mustn't have been in the business of trafficking for a long time because it takes confidence to pull this stunt. Illegality aside, this mattress idea is a creative one, as space is created to house an adult human. The mattress, which is made from styrofoam, is covered with clothing to make it seem like an actual mattress. However, the weight of the mattress is a loophole in the game plan, as the mattresses weighed so much more than they should. Also, the thinness of the covering would have given them away, as it must have been light enough to allow air in throughout the journey. Anyway, when the men were caught, they must have reeled their losses and wondered why luck wasn't on their side. So much money wasted, as they could end up being deported. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. What we see in this image is a man hidden inside a suitcase that's half opened. He can be seen crouched up inside the box, and one might believe he was either in transit or had already been smuggled. Based on this image, we can't say whether this was done with his consent or maybe a kidnap. However, what we know is that this is an actual image that was taken in front of several people. The picture could have been taken at an airport, train station, or border control. So what do you think could be happening in this image? Do you think it's a case of kidnapping? Could it be a migrant trying to sneak into a country? Whatever you think, we'd love to hear your opinion on the matter. Kindly share your view with us in the comments section using hashtag missing topic. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Cutting razor wire fence. Razor wire fences are a bit more advanced than the standard barbed wires. They have sharper points that are made to rip clothes and skin. However, this deadly fence didn't stop the immigrants from trying to get into Europe through the Hungarian border. With an idea about this new entryway for illegal immigrants, the country had built these fences in the hopes of keeping the immigrants away. What they didn't realize was that something as simple as a razor fence wasn't going to stop these desperate people. So what they did was to crawl in through open spaces that had been created by other immigrants at the bottom of the fence. However, this victory was cut short for this set as they were apprehended and taken to detention centers. And those people and those who made it disappeared into cornfields to continue their quest to Europe. Among these people were adults, both male and female, and also children. Some families would have made it through entirely, while for some other families, a member would have been caught forcing the others to surrender. This is usually a sore sight, as these people all struggle for a better life. For the hungry police, these incidences weren't a surprise, as they'd once reported a single day record of over 3,000 immigrants. This shows us that so many people are willing to risk their lives just to enter Europe, and we haven't even looked at those who choose to cross through the sea. Illegal Immigrants and Car Roof Box A 57-year-old couple had just returned from their vacation in France. Upon arrival, the husband, Simon, went in first, leaving his wife outside only to hear her scream after she noticed a foot stuck out from their car roof box. They called the police, and it was discovered that it was a 17-year-old boy who probably had made the trip with them. From further interrogation, it was discovered that the boy was Egyptian, based on the little he could say. He had gone into their car roof box in France in order to migrate illegally to another city. This sounded weird, but for him to have undertaken such a journey, then he must have hated where he was. 
This makes one wonder the amount of discomfort he would have undergone throughout that three-hour trip. He must have been pressed in at a point, and even the lack of air was enough to have him knocked out. Maybe his stature has played a part in making that happen, but still, it must have been draining. However, we think this isn't the first rodeo, because it seems he had used this method all the way from Egypt. The couple, on the other hand, must have been furious at the whole thing, as they might have lost some belongings when he tried to hide, unless maybe they didn't really put anything in the box, which he might have disposed of. According to Simon, the boy didn't even feel bad, as he was seen to have had a smirk on his face. This could mean that he was proud of the feat he had just accomplished. Migrants sank their own boat. As more people search for greener pastures, the risk associated with this undertaking is rising. More people are dying in this transition as they take a last berth for salvation. In this video, what we see is a sad and disastrous event that shows a dinghy sailing toward a vessel. Now at the speed at which they were moving, they seem to have taken the vessel for an Italian Coast Guard vessel. The Italian Coast Guard is known to take migrants found on the sea to safety in Italy, where they would be considered for asylum. However, in this video, it was a fishing vessel rather than the Italian Coast Guards, so once the collision happened, mayhem ensued. We could see from the video that most people tried to get on the fishing vessels while others couldn't make it. We want to think it must have been a horrible event, as everyone was mostly fighting for their survival. Some of the immigrants, some of the immigrants were ill-prepared for a trip like this, as they couldn't swim and they also didn't have life jackets. The happening on this vessel was different as the crew could only throw in some life jackets and shout that they should be calm. Well, who's going to be calm when they're inside the Mediterranean without jackets and struggling for their life? Before the video ends, we see a tragic disaster as several lifeless bodies are captured floating, a sign of the ill that just befell this set of immigrants. Migrants in the glove box of the car Migrants trying to escape the harsh conditions of their home to get better places can be some of the most creative people out there. Although the methods they use are quite dangerous, it all just leaves us wondering how they pulled that off. In this clip, we see a migrant who was stuffed into the glove compartment of a car and had undertaken a risky journey trying to get in Europe from Morocco. Based on the video, one would know that this was a meticulously planned job, which had been the usual way until this happened. We guess that most of the insides of the glove box have been removed and remodeled into a lying area for the migrants. The man, who was around the age of 20, would have struggled to enter Spain's border in that cramped position if not for border control, who caught up with them. But if we're to look at the story, it seems like a sad one, as they put themselves at risk all just to get a better life. Even as we see in the video, the package was already disoriented from the heat and rigorous movement that would have thrown him around as the car moved. Well, according to Border Patrol, it didn't seem like a standalone event as they're used to such tricks and had even around caught about three others on different vehicles who were hidden in places like the engine area, behind the rear seat of a car, and even under a vehicle. All these seemed desperate, but the migrants were ready to take the risk. People hiding among broken glass containers. The trip to greener pastures can be tough, but it doesn't necessarily have to be life-threatening. This is what most migrants fail to understand when they undertake journeys. Here's the thing, we understand that the condition of living can be quite unconducive, prompting these people to make the trip, but if it affects their health, then is it worth it? In this clip, we see people hide inside containers filled with broken glasses and toxins. They were stopped by the Spanish Guardia Civil as they intended to enter Spain from Morocco. To the police, this is a normal occurrence and they aren't usually surprised at the different methods the migrants undertake. So, to enable them to find these migrants before they harm themselves on the trip, they ensure that they thoroughly search every vehicle that goes through the border. So, if this is a norm, how do they get to find them and how many do they find daily? Well, according to the video, they had found 41 people trying to sneak into the country and remove them. Although none of them died, it's believed that a longer trip would have put them in an awkward position that could have resulted in their death. With people constantly ending up dead on these dangerous trips, the police believe that they're doing all it takes to reduce such occurrences. Immigrants bailing out of a truck The U.S.-Mexico border is another hotspot for human and drug smuggling, and this has been going on for years. Due to the economic differences in both countries, we see an influx of illegal immigrants who want to get a better life. Some of these migrants have had to take risky journeys, and although sometimes it pays off, 
Other times, it can be deadly. Sometimes they get caught up in the crossfire between border patrol and drug smugglers, and other times, the strain of the journey can be draining. With several methods available to undertake this journey, vehicles have always been the perfect mule. Hundreds of these cars leave Mexico will overload passengers who get cramped up for spaces. In one such incident, we see a video where the Texas Coast Guards chase a vehicle that's filled with migrants, and on approach, they all scurry out of the car and dart in different directions. One may think that they have an idea where they're running to, but when you're running for your life, you don't need a destination. However, the border control was able to catch the driver and a few other passengers. Although some escaped, they would probably take their time to blend into society. In the video, we were made to understand that it isn't a novel occurrence, but over time, those who escaped would soon fall back into the hands of immigration. Who would return them? In another video, the occupants weren't so lucky, as they were all apprehended as they tried to escape from border patrol. Attempted to board lorry Borders are designed to draw the lines between territories and also to stop illegal immigrants from moving between those territories. However, when these immigrants have no choice but to move between countries, they utilize the most creative and risky ways. This has become a common fixture in Calais, a port city in France, as immigrants work around ways to move into England. This is the shortest distance between a port and England and the easiest way for migrants to make this move. So, when a protest by French ferry workers ensued, migrants took the opportunity to hitch a ride and take the Euro Tunnel. In the video, they can be seen running toward a truck and trying to enter its container. As the race went on, about 12 migrants decided that, hey, why don't we use this to get to the other side? Although we feel like the chance of this trip being completed is low, for the migrants, it's a chance that they were willing to take. Some could be seen jumping into the vehicle, while a man who we think organized the trip was seen shutting the doors of the lorry to make it seem like nothing was amiss. However, their trip was cut short as they couldn't make it to the other side. The driver must have noticed the new payload as he parked and chased down the migrants. Maybe on another day, they might have been lucky, but not today. Hidden in the secret compartment When you think of the glove compartment of a car, your mind goes to it being a storage space unless in movies where the characters hide their guns or something. But who would have thought glove compartments could also hold things larger than their size? Well, not exactly its size, but human smugglers have found a better way to make it work. In a smuggling trip to Spain, a man and woman were arrested on charges of human trafficking at the Ban Enzar border. The couple, who were in a car registered in Morocco, would have scaled through until the guard suspected the woman was acting up. She was said to have been jittery, which prompted the guards to take more measures in searching the vehicle. This was where they found out a 17-year-old girl was cramped into a design compartment inside the glove box. This makes one wonder about the discomfort she would have undergone for this trip and asks if it's actually worth it. She claims that she's from Mali, and that seems weird because the journey from Mali to Morocco must have been treacherous. When the guards thought that was all, they then discovered that another occupant was also in the car and had been hidden under the rear seat all through the journey. This seems weird, but the border control was unmoved, as they were quite used to such occurrences. With both hidden occupants disoriented from the tight space and limited air supply, they were handed over to emergency services who took care of their health. Man Emerging from Wheel Well of Airplane if we're mentioning wild and crazy migrant moments, then this one deserves a spot as one of the most daring. So what really happened? Well, on a chilly Saturday morning on November 27, 2021, a plane from Guatemala landed at the Miami airport with its passengers, cargo, and one extra cargo passenger. This illegal passenger had just risked his life to get to the United States and had braved some of the worst conditions. And one of the craziest moves, the 26-year-old had hidden in the airplane's wheel well and hitched a ride for three hours. When the plane landed, the man was found by the security operative on site, and it left everyone in shock about what they had witnessed. To think about it, we're in movies when a plane gets a malfunction and oxygen masks are deployed to the passengers to help them breathe. But this man had just put himself in harm's way and endured the cold and thin air during the trip. It was no surprise that he was stunned when discovered, because at that altitude, one would barely be able to breathe. He was then taken to the hospital for better treatment and checkups. We don't know what became of him, but he has definitely had one story to tell for the rest of his life.
German police find migrants hidden on freight trains. Freight trains are a special kind used to transport heavy goods and merchandise from one location to another, and they aren't built for human use. Maybe apart from the crew who had to undertake maintenance and would most likely have their home quarters. However, when a freight train was stopped at the German-Austria border, the border control did not expect what they found. They had seen a pair of hands holding onto the underside of the train, which prompted an investigation. This was when they found that some illegal immigrants had joined the train and had exposed themselves to danger. These seven immigrants, who were said to have come from African countries such as Somalia, Ivory Coast, and Nigeria, had undertaken a dangerous move. With a freight train said to be moving at a speed of about 93 kilometers an hour, the immigrants would have been subjected to high levels of cold air, which would have caused hypothermia. Not only that, they risked their lives and limbs because of a little mistake, and they could have been crushed on the tracks. But who knows how many there were to start the trip and if any died along the way. Anyway, immediately they were discovered. They were treated on the spot and checked for any damages that might have happened. 16 people inside makeshift wooden container. Will the smuggling of people or the idea of illegal migration one day end? Well, we can only hope as more and more stories of caught illegal migrants keep pouring in. In this clip, we'll be looking at how 16 people were caught inside a makeshift wooden caravan, all in a bid to get smuggled into a different country. This discovery was made after a deputy working with the Atascosa County Constable Precinct 3 pulled over a vehicle on Highway 16. After interrogating the driver for what seemed like some minutes, something rather shocking was revealed. At the back of the vehicle were 12 men and four women crammed inside a hidden compartment, which looked like a box made of construction materials. While smuggling cases are prevalent in the area, County Constable Rick Luna reveals that was the first time she had saw the site. Stopping the vehicle, as revealed, was because the driver acted suspiciously. This single act led Deputy Valdez to call for backup, and on arrival, knocks were heard coming from the wood of the caravan. It remains a mystery where the occupants were traveling from, but it's no doubt that they had been stuck in that position for hours before their discovery. Citing the migrant, Luna confirmed they were given something to eat with two women rushed to the hospital for heat-related issues. The driver was, however, arrested and is in custody, facing possible federal charges. While we wish these migrants the best of luck, we hope people stop going to great lengths just to migrate illegally. Troopers discover 21 migrants hiding. Since migrants have grown wiser, escaping border guards and entering countries illegally, so has the government of various countries grown to tighten laws bordering on migration. Governor Greg Abbott seems to be one of those governors greatly interested in curbing the menace caused by illegal migration as he deployed a force of state troopers along border highways from Del Rio down to the Rio Grande Valley to crack down on human smuggling. In one of the troopers' missions, interesting discoveries were made on New Year's Eve around La Salle County. Body cam video revealed when a man was pulled over as he explained that no one was riding in the utility trailer he was pulling behind his truck. Well, the case seemed different some minutes later, as the troopers made a shocking discovery. Hiding inside the truck were 21 migrants packed in a tight crawl space in the trailer. According to one of the troopers, the space was tight and could be compared to crawling underneath a bed. While sites like this are not new, as the case of smuggling in large cities has seen an all-time increase, packing people into cramped spaces isn't something that should be encouraged. After the discovery, the truck driver was reportedly arrested and identified as a member of a Mexican Mafia gang, with officials yet to identify his name. He was charged with smuggling and possessing a stolen firearm and truck. It's rather unwise to lay all blame on the truck driver, as the immigrants who make such journeys are usually aware of the dangers that accompany it. Mexicans caught scaling wall into U.S. Speaking of drug groups crossing borders between nations, this one focuses on the Mexican drug group Barrero. They were seen scuttling the border walls into Arizona and back into Mexico some minutes later, not minding the presence of artificial barriers, surveillance cameras, or even in border patrol uniforms. Videos of the Barreros crossing the Mexican-U.S. borders are common on YouTube. It all began when an Azteca Noticias report filming a news segment near the border fence became interrupted by a site that soon became their news story. Along the border, two young Barreros came into their camera range while transporting a backpack of drugs over the border walls. 
Even with border patrol agents near the smuggling site, the young men seemed unbothered as they leisurely made their way across the streets of the United States with huge square makeshift backpacks. The drug transport would have gone unnoticed had the reporters not captured the young men in the act. However, the border patrol remained oblivious to the situation, with the duo returning to Mexico on their own accord. While it's surprising that they weren't apprehended after crossing into the U.S., it seems more shocking that they weren't arrested on the Mexican side either. With the whole scenario occurring within some minutes, one may think that some embarrassed Border Patrol agents are reprimanded somewhere in Arizona. It's only advisable to beep security along the U.S.-Mexican border as transporting drugs along borders seems to be a more severe issue than illegal migration. Nigerian Stowaways Found on Ship Desperate migrants have yet again left the world in shock as three stowaways of Nigerian descent are found on the rudder of a ship along the Canary Islands. This was after a voyage that lasted 11 days in the ocean. This makes one wonder whether migrating through this route is both legal and safe. Well, it's not. The men found in the oil tanker at the La Palms port were reported to have dehydration and hypothermia symptoms. They were lucky enough to have been transferred to hospitals on the island for medical attention. After the surprise discovery, photos of the three men sitting on the top of the rudder under the ship's massive full hull, with their feet hanging only a few centimeters from the water, have since been shared by the Maritime Rescue Agency, known in Spain as Salvamento Maritimo. Further reports show that the Malta-flagged vessel had left Lagos, Nigeria and arrived at La Palmas after spending about two weeks on the sea. The distance between both ports was around 4,600 kilometers. This isn't the first case of migrants clinging onto rudders of ships while risking their lives just to cross borders into the Spanish island located off northwest Africa, with Salvamento Maritimo reporting to have previously dealt with six similar cases within the space of two years. While the fate of the three stowaways remain unknown, Previous cases have seen the owner of the ships returning previous stowaways to their point of departure. Is it worth it to go this far in search of greener pastures? We believe only the three caught Nigerian stowaways can provide answers to this mind-boggling question. 20 People in a Single Car We all know it's not safe to cram a bunch of people into a car. The situation can get dangerous when more people than designed for the real-life situation actually happens to be in the vehicle. Check out this situation, where 20 immigrants were stuffed into a single vehicle in a bid to cross the Dominican Republic border. Wondering if this was some kind of contortionist stuff to set a new Guinness World Record? You're most definitely wrong, as this was a case of illegal immigration. The journey of these illegal migrants soon came to an end as their vehicle was halted by Border Patrol guards who made everyone come outside counting them one at a time. While the counting went on, it was realized that the total number of individuals stuffed into the vehicle was 20. How did 20 people fit into one car? How are they all still alive? These are questions we never might be able to find the answers to. However, it goes to show what great length people are ready to take to achieve their goals of migration and maybe, just maybe, immigrants become super compressible when trying to cross borders. 500 migrants tried to cross U.S. border. Talking about picking illegal migration methods rather than going through the legal routes? Well, the case of 500 migrants who violently forced their way into the United States seems to furnish up with a topic of discussion. Just like another day, the 2nd of July 2007 seemed to have started normally until things took a different turn for officers at the Tijuana and San Diego border when scores of migrants forcefully tried to gain access to the U.S. Reacting swiftly, the officers repelled them using tear gas, with traffic halted for several hours at the ever-busy border crossing. Traffic was shut down in both directions. The migrants largely responsive to the mayhem were mostly those of Honduran descent, while their actions show how desperate migrants are in these quests to cross various borders, it's no doubt that the situation wasn't very well handled as little children were among the recipients of the tear gas. Further de-escalation of the situation has since been recorded as time went on. Well, with more than 5,000 people camped in and around a sports complex after forcing their way through Mexico in caravans, we wonder what their fates hold. We'll just have to wait and see. Child stashed inside suitcase. I only did this for the sake of my child. These were the first words that came out from the mouth of a woman whose eight-year-old son was found locked in a suitcase in a bid to smuggle him across the Moroccan borders. While this may not have been the best option when issues pertaining to immigration are concerned, it only shows how desperate some people are to enter a prosperous country. 
It all happened when Guardia Civil Agents, the agency responsible for border checks, noticed that a 19-year-old girl was reluctant to go through the border control area. Noticing this, they requested that she place her Noticing this, they requested she place her suitcase on the X-ray machine, expecting to detect drugs or illegal merchandise inside. However, they were stunned to see an image of a young child clearly outlined in the X-ray. This triggered their curiosity as the guards moved to open the bag, and there it was, a young child emerged, looking rather confused. And at the same time, scared. The young boy later revealed his name was Abo, a national of Ivory Coast. The woman, identified as a Moroccan national, was arrested after the revelation. Further investigations revealed the father of the said boy, an Ivory Coast national but a resident of the Canary Islands, was also crossing the border. While his father was arrested, he was placed under the care of Child Protection Services, and the young woman found out not to be related to both parties, but only paid to smuggle the boy through the borders, was released. Rescue from Sinking Boat Traveling via sea remains one of the most adventurous experiences. However, when you seem to be doing so to enter another country's borders illegally, then it can be terrible. Well, for the inhabitants of the capsized migrant boat found in the Mediterranean by the Italian Navy, they saw another version of sea travel. Following a bid to escape the harsh reality of their resident country, over 500 individuals were involved in a boat mishap captured on camera with a patrol boat, Bettina, rushing to the scene to hand out life jackets. However, their story didn't start like that as they had sailed on excellently until they saw the Navy and got scared. This caused the wooden boat to overturn, causing more panic and the inevitable capsize. Well, in order to save them, Rubber motorboats and a helicopter were deployed to rescue perishing migrants, with over 500 eventually saved and five others confirmed dead. In yet another incident that seems quite familiar, the plight of a nine-month-old baby from Nigeria has drawn the public's attention. The girl, whose name is Favor, is now under the care of residents. In Sicily, after her mother was reportedly killed in a fire accident on board another migrant ship, the interception of migrant boats by the Italian Navy has seen rapid growth, mainly due to the warm weather and calm seas, with nothing less than 5,600 migrants being rescued daily and officials fearing that these numbers would increase with an improvement in weather conditions. Seeing how far certain individuals are willing to go to escape the conditions of their home countries, we only wish that the world becomes a better place someday using plastic bottles to survive. So many people will go to great lengths to escape the reality of their home country, irrespective of how dangerous that length seems to be. This is quite the case with this young man, Ibrahim Rabat, who in the video chose to evade the harsh reality of Morocco, his home country, and seek greener pastures in Spain. However, his journey didn't seem to go smoothly, as footage shows the youngster crying as he paddled ashore and clung to a buoy kept afloat by soda bottles attached around his waist. Following reports from the Spanish Coast Guard, the boy's case is one of the thousands of others who have attempted to cross into Spain after the African country's deliberate removal of border guards. Hitting the Spanish shores, the young boy darted across the beach, moving past Spanish soldiers and making inadvertent attempts to scale the wall barefoot before getting detained. Over 8,000 migrants have since crossed from Morocco, prompting chaotic scenes even as authorities struggle to manage the continuous influx. The mass migration is perceived as a result of diplomatic roles between the two countries over Spain's decision to provide medical treatment to a militant leader who has been fighting Morocco for several decades. While the fate of this young man remains unknown, we hope the grass is greener on the other side for his sake. We have come to the end of this video and we saw some of the craziest ways people sneaked into other countries. Some of these trips were absolutely dangerous and could have resulted in their death. However, before any damage happened, they were mostly rescued by border authorities. Some might have ended up achieving their aim, but for everyone that survived, some didn't make the trip. Mm -hmm.